obviously one's career is, is, is a continuum and you're, you're a different age and your expectations at different times in your career are different. And as my career developed, I moved into more and more senior positions. Having said that, when I joined SIP, you know, we were just a few members of staff and essentially set, setting up the institute. That was a tremendous experience. And then when I went to Central America and at the age of 27 became a program leader, uh, 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 and, and working backwards and forwards between all these countries and doing lots of different I actually learned how to grow potatoes successfully uh, so I you know I, I, I trained as a taxonomist and then ended, ended up doing plant pathology agronomy post harvest storage uh, you name it and, and it was a sort of get stuck in so that in itself was a very challenging and, and fruitful and, and and the move to Erie uh, was a move into, I'd never never managed a germplasm collection before I came to Erie. So that was a bit of a learning curve for me. And Erie had an enormous uh, reputation uh, that one sort of got sucked into. So I think I can't say this was better than that. They, would, they gave me um, satisfaction in different ways. What I can say is that I think that my time overseas in both the C, in both CG centres was a better experience overall than my experience in the university. Having, but looking at that, I enjoyed teaching. I love working with the students. Um, and when you get good students who are keen to learn and do things, that was that was really very satisfying, um, but um, you know, from an early age, I wanted to go abroad. I wanted to, I I knew I wanted to work in agriculture. Although I don't, I partly come from an agricultural farming background. My my brother has been able to trace my my ancestors back eighteen or nineteen generations. To 1480, uh, and a very quintessential surname on one branch of the family, Bull. If you think of the quintessential Englishman John Bull, well, my great grandfather, about eight, 17 times removed, was William Bull, and born in 1480, in a part of England not far from where I currently have a house, and they were farming, farming uh, families. Um, but that's as closest to farming I ever got. My father was a photographer. My mother trained in the United States as, a, an, as an orthopedic nurse. But they had traveled when they were young. And so I and my two brothers and sister have all traveled. You know, we've, we've not stayed put in one part of England. We, we've just moved all over and, and taken those opportunities. So I think that it was good that I went back to England for that period of my career. It was even better that I decided to give it up. And I had a tenured position. Better that I gave it up and came to Erie. And I will leave Erie um, feeling that I've made a contribution. Feeling that I, I've left some things better than I found them. And having made some great friends in, in, in the process. I feel better for having worked at Erie and I hope Erie also appreciates the contributions that I've made.